What's going on, guys? How are your meatballs? This is the Arkin Full Elite Guide, including, of course, the Boss Fight Guide, which is the main, really the only part of this map. Make sure to subscribe for more Elite Guides like this, as well as the quick 30-second guides I have coming up and always have, as well as a bunch of other cool and fun custom zombies, Vanguard zombies, future zombies videos, tutorials, all that, as well as follow over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash domat123, where I stream zombies every single day, and we'll be streaming open lobbies for the Arkin, helping you guys complete the Easter egg later on tonight. That said, the first step for this easter egg is to open a pack a bunch by reforging the machine using the pat pieces you can pick up at the spike above jug which is the red perk and the derailment by stamina then collect souls after placing the pieces down in pack a bunch and then bang pack a bunch is open next place down the artifact on the pedestal in front of pack a bunch wait for quotes and then travel through the portal it spawns to visit the boss he will down you but don't panic because you'll come back into the main map alive next you'll have to complete three trials in which you can do in any order and there are timestamps on your screen right now that that you can use to jump between each one if you wish the trial of mindfulness find a shovel in the map there are at least three locations and either the derailment which is by the orange perk the debris field which is right across from the blue perk or somewhere around the green perk there will be a shovel location but only one person in the game needs to even have a shovel so once you have a shovel dig up a red orb in the merchant road at this time i'd recommend having the red and blue perks be tier two or three as well as to go get some armor from the crafting stations to make this set of challenges a little bit easier for you interact with with the orb on the wall and symbols will flash match these symbols on the floor in the order they appeared what i do is simply name them things as i go along like some of them may look like a guy so i'll say guy z h something like that you know that's the easiest for me but of course to each of their own, to each their own on solo pausing after each symbol and drawing it is probably you know another easy thing to do if you wish and also here's a cheat sheet on your screen that may also help you out also if there are multiple people in your game you can even have just each person memorize one or two symbols at a time this way it's just fairly easy um but yeah again everyone has their own system this step is fairly easy you don't want to overcomplicate it it's just matching symbols but just giving you different methods and or ideas to getting it done easier now after a person stands on the final circle circle meaning of course the final symbol in the sequence their screen will go yellow and they will have to complete a random mini challenge like no health regeneration survival not shooting you only regenerate health by proning among many other mini random challenges and this will go on for 60 seconds now upon completing this mini random challenge of course without dying you'll be able to then interact with the red orb again in which you'll be given a new set of symbols this is round two transfer these symbols to the floor and then complete another random mini challenge again to complete round two now after that's done interact with the red orb again for your final stage the third stage of simon says and again there are more symbols with each round of this you do so make sure you're keeping that in mind so if you're having certain people memorize one or two symbols make sure everyone memorizes at least two or three at a time this way there's no confusion no issues and of course again remember the sequence it has to be in the correct order that they appear now after completing your final round of simon says you'll be able to interact with a big red crystal to attempt to complete the trial of mindfulness to its fullness simply train the zombies around and stand on the red circles to secure a room you can't shoot the zombies or really just damage them it says on the screen at all during the step and once you do secure enough runes the trial will be complete so maybe something like decoy nades would be helpful if you can get them and or have them but for the most part all you have to do is train around and you'll be fine you'll get this stuff this step done pretty easily trial of resilience in the debris field shoot red crystals on the rocks to get a red orb to pop out of one mine spawned in the same spot in every game so far which is right here but be conscientious that it may not always spawn in the same spot pick up three parts separately and bring them back to the orb while doing a special challenge in the yellow mode you were in before the cursed femur can be found in the very back left of the derailment dig it up and bring it to the orb while not dying the hat can be found in the tent by spicola pick it up do the challenge of course and bring that back to the orb well of course maintaining the challenge and your health and the third and final piece i believe you can do these in any order but i'm not 100 percent sure is the cursed skull it's in the bizarre area of the map by diabolical damage just simply bring it back to the orb while not dying once again and of course maintaining your challenge after giving the orb the final part the decimator shield wonder weapon will become available to you on the floor right behind you right kind of next to the perk have the person with the shield interact with the crystal to begin the trial of resilience now these next steps are having you need to do something with the decimator shield and you're gonna have to pull it out and use the ultimate bash ability which on my controller of course is the l2 the left trigger to break the zombie head things that's what i'm gonna call them and give you blood now the chalice you get i know you're probably wondering where you get it from if you are wondering you got the chalice and the actual artifact you place down at the beginning of the easter egg from the shinonuma easter egg the previous easter egg in vanguard zombies which is really cool kind of a 
callback to older zombies easter eggs do you have to complete the shinonuma easter egg to do this easter egg i don't think so but it's just cool to see that you got those in the previous easter egg and you're now using them here anyways again use the decimator ultimate bash ability to break down the zombie head things and it will give you a kind of like a pile of blood interact with it to fill the chalice with blood and bring it to this fountain in the area note i do believe the amount of zombie head things you'll have to blast open with the shield and the locations of them varies from game to game and or depending on how many people you have in the game we had to do five in both of our games two player and three player games so just keep that in mind but i feel like it may have changed it so i don't know but it, it probably is five but it could be more or less just keep looking around the area if the fountain isn't full at five anyways after filling the fountain completely the step will be done of course trial of sacrifice head toward the derailment and then on your way in throw a molotov at this unlit torch right here in the train car then sprint into the derailment and throw another molotov at this unlit torch right here and lastly throw a third and final molotov at this unlit torch right over here next sacrifice a pack a bunch weapon to the orb yes it has to be a, pa a pack a bunch weapon it can't be an unpacked weapon and even if you want you can just drop your weapon real quick pack another weapon and then give it to the thing but just know it has to be a pack a bunch weapon and you will never get it back this will spawn in an uber krieger in which you must kill pretty quickly to proceed or you will have to sacrifice another pack a bunch weapon to this orb but once you have killed this mini boss interact with a big red crystal in order to begin the trial of sacrifice on the ground you can pick up a ring of fire if you don't already have it on of course you can switch of course you can switch out of it after the step if you want to once the step's complete you can switch out of it but as for now if you don't have ring of fire you can pick it up right here if not you obviously already have it and you can proceed to this next step ring of fire is needed anyways stand on top of the train next to the main crystal and kill a couple of zombies after about five to ten kills you should notice that you'll get a full meter drop right next to the big crystal simply activate your ring right next to the surrounding obelisk slash crystals and get kills until a line shoots directly out of the center keep repeating these steps for every crystal in the area getting kills for a full meter right on top of the train car and using your ring of fire by a surrounding obelisk slash crystal to charge it to the point where it lasers to the center crystal now upon completing the final crystal you will get a slew of the usual rewards max ammo full armor full meter all that good stuff tip if you want to switch your field upgrade again now was a good time to do so as if you do it before you pick up the full meter you'll have a fully charged specialist weapon other than ring of fire of course if that is your wish your next step is to get set up just for the boss fight my recommendation is the decimator shield as your one slot and then as your two slot a ppsh as44 and or an lmg that shoots and aims and reloads quickly if you have one in mind now you'll have a lot of time to shoot the boss which means that you want a weapon with high damage sure but even if you have a weapon with decent damage and a super fast rate of fire and a fair reload it will go much further than a weapon that deals a lot more damage per bullet like for example maybe some rpgs may do crazy damage i don't know they may do crazy damage sure but you're probably not going to deal as much damage with them as you will in the in the given amount of time with the weapon that shoots you know 70 bullets in five seconds for example right so just keep that in mind at this point don't forget your perks of course get that upgraded to tier three or four get some full armor get your covenants and of course upgrade that artifact to the most you can and anything else that you may think is important to you during this boss fight but as for what's needed get those perks three or four get some covenants get that artifact upgraded because those are things that are guaranteed to help you out right from the get-go and of course this is all on top of your weapon again ppsh as44 and or any type of lmg of course maybe any other smg or, or uh, ar that you may know is powerful and shoots really quickly and reloads really quickly but again a fast shooting weapon semi high damage if possible and i'm telling you you'll kill the boss a little bit more quickly than you think it will just because of the rate of fire anyways head to the boss fight by interacting with the portal you went through at the beginning of the easter egg in the pack a bunch area for the first stage of the boss fight shoot the arkin in the glowing red spot at the top of his head this is the only area you will damage him in in the first stage ring of fire helps out a ton during during this time if you see electricity on the floor or a red orb near you run away from it to an area that's safe make sure to always check your surroundings and use audio cues where you can as well because sometimes this stuff can just sneak up on you because trust me i've had a lot of downs already in this boss fight where it's like damn what the heck down me and there was an orb right behind me anyways also remember that if you have the decimator shield you can pull it out and do the ultimate bash ability to clear all the zombies out of the way there is an attack that the boss does that spawns in zombies and just wait a couple of seconds and boom Boom, decimator shield down you're good all zombies dead just like that tons of points you get ammo you get armor great great tool to have on you the decimator shield and you get it for free during the easter egg anyway it is absolutely amazing at clearing out zombies in the area as it kills a lot of zombies quickly
basically yep i just read that i just said that and now i read it in my script anyways moving forward at the same time make sure to barely ever keep your eye off of the arkin i know you're looking around i know you're checking your surroundings you're being you're being conscientious but never take your eye off that arkin as he will do a special effect and target one of the players on the team and if that red orb that he targets you with hits you it's going to instant down you so be very very careful you have to be fast reacting which is so fun and so good anyways the first round is fairly straightforward though as you always are able to damage the boss in his weak spot right on top of his two eyes just keep spraying bullets into that area until you move on to the next step by teleporting to the next area for the second and third stages of the boss fight you do the same thing just in different areas keep note of previous attacks because they are now in full form they are not weakened at all they are in full effect you must be fast reacting to those red orbs as i said before the electric burst and any other stuff that may be in your way any other attacks that the boss may do but i pretty much talk about them all just get to a safe area wherever you see fit or you will die and you will die very very fast so your job is to just shoot the red crystals on the floor again this is stages three two and three of the boss fight your job is to shoot the red crystals on the floor to acquire crystal shore they'll go into your inventory as a tactical grenade and you can throw them at the plants in the area after about 30 to 60 seconds the plants will pop out a corrupted crystal shard throw the corrupted shard at one of the rocks to the left or right of the arcan and it will damage his shield bubble i know it's very odd but yeah get the corrupted throw the the regular shard inside the plant wait 30 to 60 seconds you'll get the corrupted shard and then you're going to throw it out a damn rock outside the map but that will somehow get rid of his shield bubble after a couple of times throwing corrupted rocks at cor corrupted shards at the rocks out of the map it will blast the shield bubble off and you will be able to shoot him and you'll know because once again after throwing a couple of those corrupted shards at the rocks the arcan will fall and be vulnerable in the right eye he won't have any armor or anything like that and you can just spray him you'll get damage numbers as well using your guns use your ring of fire and whatever else you may need and have up your sleeve just don't hold back keep spraying that son of a gun as much as you can and you'll probably have to do this a couple of times in order to fully take his health down to get to the next stage but yeah just keep spraying it and once you've blown out his right eye fully you'll be teleported to a new area like i said before in which you'll just have to rinse and repeat all the same steps you did in stage two just shooting him this time in the left eye and once you damage him enough he will die and you'll get a bunch of cool rewards like a wonder weapon points and more that's it my friends that's been the arkin full main solo easter egg guide this was the final zombies map we are getting for the next two years as crazy as that sounds at least that's how it appears as of now i will be potentially 24 years old 23 or 24 years old and that is a scary thought anyways <laughs> appreciate you guys coming out take care of your meatballs and i really hope that this is not the final zombies god i ever made please make sure you subscribe hit that like button if you don't want it to be because i don't want it to be take care I've been wishing for some better days Could you listen, oh, I, can you stay?